In this video, we'll discuss the resources section of the EAN supplier's application. One of the free resources available to all users of EAN is the resources application. Resources contains all of the documents and forms for the NADCAP program. This includes operating procedure, audit criteria, the T Form 1111, as well as all other forms used in the NADCAP program, auditor advisories, among many others. To access the resources application in the EAN Suppliers application, click on the Resources icon on the far left menu on the screen. This will bring up a view that has folders on the left and files on the right. At the top of the menu's folder, there is a drop-down that can be used to change the folders from NADCAP to another one of the programs such as TPG or Metacred. Below that is the Corporate Family Subscriptions and Mandates. Clicking on this will bring you to another window that will define the mandates for our subscriber companies. Below the Corporate Family Subscriptions and Mandates is a link to the Organization Changes T Form 1111. This is still in development, but will eventually offer users a way to submit a T Form 1111 online rather than manually filling out the form. Until this functionality is complete, you can access the T Form 1111 as well as any other forms by clicking on the arrow next to Procedures and Forms clicking on the arrow next to NADCAP forms, and then clicking on T form task groups category. Doing this will cause all of the files under the T form category to appear on the right hand side, including the T form 1111 notification of organization changes. Clicking on this will access the form. Another common request is for audit criteria documents. These can be found by clicking on the arrow next to audit criteria, and then scrolling to the task group you wish to view the audit criteria for. In this case, we're going to select non-destructive testing. Clicking on the folder will show all of the audit criteria documents on the right hand side of the screen. Each task group will also have a folder for Word copies of the checklist. Lastly, we will take a look at task group information such as auditor advisories. To access this information, find the public documents folder and click the arrow next to it to expand the folder. Next, find the task groups folder and click the arrow to expand it. Find the task group you wish to view. In this example, we're going to use non-destructive testing and click it so that the documents appear on the right hand side. To access auditor advisories, click on the auditor advisories folder at the top and then click on the year that you wish to view the advisories for. To view a particular advisory, locate it and click on it to access it. That concludes this video at this time. I want to thank you for taking the time to view it. Be on the lookout for more uh, of these videos to appear on our YouTube channel as we build them. Thank you again. Have a great day.